Who says research and style have nothing in common? That's the topic we want to discuss with our guest on the show today. A warm welcome to Gertrud Leonard from the Potsdam University. Could you tell us your research involves fashion history and theory? What's so interesting for you about that? <laughs> Well, I like the idea that fashion and society, fashion and culture has a lot in common and fashion, so to speak, doesn't just interpret culture or societal events, but creates them. And we crea create our personalities and characters with fashion, well, dealing saying that, with fashion. How, would you, how important would you say fashion is then? extremely important. It's nothing superficial. It's very important because we, we do self-fashioning. That is, we, from a performative perspective, we, we are doing, we are what we do. And if we wear clothes and if we wear fashion, when we wear fashion, um, we create a personality. We create something because the clothes have an effect on how we are, how we move, how we feel and everything. Now, clothing has always been functional. How, how long has fashion existed? Fashion exists for some hundred years, let's say. It um, must, well, it depends on money in society and it depends on individuality. So we try to be part of a group, of a social group, but on the same time, at the same time, we try to be very individual and very special. And fashion allows us um, to, to be that, to uh, allows that paradox. Well, clothing also sends a very strong message as far as social status goes. Right. Has that changed? No, not really. Just the the signs have changed. They have become more more discreet, so to speak. And a lot, um, it has a lot to do with the attitude, how we wear things, how we um, behave in clothes. What about the regional aspect? Has <laughs> has fashion become truly global in some way? Yes, it has. Um, there is an intermingling of global fashion and regional fashion. They um, have an effect on each other. So we might may find. Um, let's say, the same fashions in Asia as in Europe, but they have changed in a specific way and they are always intermingled with regional aspects. What have you experienced regionally? <laughs> when I was in Korea and went through a market with um, traditional Korean clothes, I felt so out of place. People stared at me and I felt like a big, large elephant. Which it was you not are not in any way. <laughs> Now tell me about the fashion of the future. The fashion of the future, I think we will be much more differentiated because fashion lives from giving us many, many possibilities to play, to make experiences and um, it would die if it wouldn't do that. So, so I think it will be very, very diverse. Good to see you, Gertrud Leonard. Thank you very much for joining us here on Tomorrow Today. Thank you.